Hello and welcome. I'm Barb Edson. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for CDK Global. We're here live from NADA. Really excited to be here with Peter Kahn, our Senior Director of Research. And we're going to be talking to you today about artificial intelligence. So Peter, we did a study. Talk a little bit about the study and some of the insights you've learned. You bet. So first of all, I just want to say it's fantastic to be around humans again. It I is. Mean, <laughs> two years of being shut underneath the stairs. and <laughs> wonderful to be here. So let's talk about artificial intelligence. We really wanted to understand where are dealers at with regards to artificial intelligence? Are they familiar with the topic? What do they see benefits? What, what's their perspective about artificial intelligence and how can it help them? What concerns do they have about artificial okay. intelligence? And where do they think they could use artificial intelligence in a dealership? Specifically, thinking about the challenges that they're working through today and possibly where could artificial intelligence help them. So that's what we wanted to find out. Great. I know we all kind of hear it, AI, AI, big buzzword, but it's real. And it's been real in many other industries for a really long time, as all of you know. But I mean, it's really becoming really impactful in the automotive industry. And so Peter, talk about some of the impact that we were actually a little surprised that it's as sort of ingrained into some of the dealerships as it already is, so and having impact. I'm glad you brought that up. And I think a lot of the genesis of the study is exactly what you said, and that is, is artificial intelligence real or not? And a lot of other industries are investing in artificial intelligence, particularly retail. And so again, what are we learning from those folks yeah. that we can bring into the dealership? One of the things that I think is really important when we talk about artificial intelligence is that we've grounded in what dealers are dealing with. And so right. one of the first questions that we asked were, what are the challenges you're working through today? Staffing is a huge one. Employee burnout is a big yeah. challenge as well. So are there opportunities for artificial intelligence to help with those pain points? Finding new customers, retaining customers, yeah. those kinds of things, again, can AI help? So let's start out with what we learned. And we okay. surveyed about 250 dealers. Thank you all for answering the survey. We appreciate that greatly. So first of all, on level of familiarity, and this really surprised me, 40% of the folks we surveyed said they were either extremely or very familiar with the concept of artificial intelligence. I honestly didn't expect there yep. was that high level of understanding. That's and great. we asked dealers, tell us what that means. What is artificial intelligence to you? And it wasn't space age stuff like robots running around the parts <laughs> depot. It was really things that are grounded in their operations and what artificial intelligence is. So that was one yeah. of the questions that we asked that was really surprising. So I know we all think about artificial intelligence a lot on the front office, right? In the sales process, in the marketing process. But Peter talked to me about the research. Really excited to hear about, again, about in the service department, the impact you can have in servicing your customers, training your technicians. So unpack that for us a little bit. Yeah, you bet. So I'm going to talk about not just familiarity, but usage. Yeah. So interestingly enough, one of the reasons why they were so familiar is because 33% of the folks we surveyed said they're already using artificial intelligence. We'll come back to talk about where they're using that. 35% who aren't using it said we plan to use it in the next one to three years. That's 68% of the folks we surveyed either are using it or plan to use it soon. That's great. And in fact, there was only 2% of the folks we surveyed that said, I don't see this in my dealership at all. So, you know, kind of going back to our trendsetter survey, this is this notion of looking at your challenges and not being afraid to lean in and look at new right. things. And clearly there are other dealers out there that are using it, that are getting benefit from it and are excited from it. So, you know, where are they using it, to your point? Yeah. And, um, and if you didn't catch uh, the Trendsetter research earlier, you can go ahead and go back and watch that. If you're just tuning in now, you can kind of uh, go back to that and uh, take, a, uh, take a listen through it, because there's some great additional research that CDK just talked about at the show. So Yeah, you can capture the Barb and uh, Peter show, Yeah, right? yeah, this is our second <laughs> show today, so you can catch the first show. Right. So <laughs> where are dealers using artificial intelligence? And, and to your point, and I think we're early days when it comes to the adoption of AI, it's mostly in the front office and sales, you know, it's lead routing, sure. it's dealing with calls and things like that. But honestly, that's just- Tip of the iceberg, it's right? It's the tip of the yeah. iceberg, it really is. And so one of the things that, you know, we are thinking about and encouraging dealers to think about is again, looking at all the challenges they have and fixed ops, particularly staffing yep. is a big one. Yep. You know, where do I get a service tech? Those, that's a, really hard to find good yep. service techs, particularly master service techs. Yep. And so thinking about AI, how can AI help me with my yep. staffing challenge in the service bay? And the answer is it can. I mean, AI, if it's good in, in the area of predictive service, yep. can help take the place of a master who's trying to train an apprentice. Mm -hmm. And AI can help that apprentice find problems quicker and easier and faster. That yep. is a great benefit. And that you know comes through predictive service. 
Yep. So that's one way we can look at artificial intelligence and start to solve the, the challenges that dealers have. Yeah, and it's really all the connected car data, all the data coming off of the car nowadays. So that predictive service, obviously you've got to have that data flowing through from the OEM. So those dealerships that are taking advantage of that are really seeing a big impact. And talk a little bit, Peter, about obviously all of you here know too, one of your biggest profit centers, right, is the fixed ops, is that service department. So if you can drive cost out of that service department and increase revenue, that a consumer experience really delight them, you know, the huge benefit to that. So there's an incredible amount of data coming off connected car. There's just gonna be that much more of it. And there's no way that humans can absorb all that data yeah. and understand, <laughs> you know, what's going on with this vehicle. So like it or not, AI is going to be in fixed operations for sure. But what are some of the other areas where dealers can use artificial intelligence? Cybersecurity actually is a big one. Uh, in our cybersecurity study that we did back in July, a lot of dealers are very concerned about cybersecurity. And if you think about artificial intelligence, really it looks for patterns and trends. And so if you have hackers coming at your network, you know, that's something that AI can be there seven by 24 and guard against unwanted intrusions into the network. So that's another place okay. that AI can be used. Another place that AI can be used is in the area of financial management. We right. talked about, you know, dealers who did really well drove costs out of their business. You know, yep. again, reducing floor plan costs, and AI in financial management, again, looking for patterns and trends, can find opportunities within the financial data. So that's like another great place to use AI. So, yep. you know, one of the things I think it's really important for dealers to realize is leaning in and not being afraid to try something new because the payoff is there. And the payoff is clearly with AI. And it can help in all areas of the business, yep. not just in finding new customers, finding inventory, which it can do, but also in dealing with connected car and training service tech to be better in financial management and cybersecurity and probably a whole lot of other places. That's great. And one of the things I, you know, actually, Peter, you know, if I'm a dealer and I'm not uh, super techie because I'm running a business, you know, AI, it can be a really scary concept, but really working with vendors that have that intelligence built into their solutions and not to do a CDK plug here because we really want to talk about the research, but that's where products and solutions like Neuron that's built into the CDK suite of business applications for the dealership really pays off. So we take care of understanding that technology technology, we're building in that intelligence inside of the application. So really important when you're thinking about choosing that right partner to work with, are they looking at AI? Are they leaning in? Are they looking into the future to understand how they can be basically your R&D department because you don't have time to be building out AI solutions from scratch. That's got to be really embedded in the solutions you're already purchasing today. So that brings up another part of the data that we uh, got from dealers. The concerns are, will I get ROI, yeah. initial setup and training, and then you know ongoing maintenance. And so to your point, you know, dealers, it's the job is selling and servicing cars right. and spending time with customers, not managing an AI system. And that's really where a vendor like CDK can come in. We've got really smart data scientists. We've spent some time, we understand dealers. Yep. And so we can alleviate those concerns of, am I going to get value? How do I set this thing up? How do I manage it? You know, CDK under the, the Neuron team, the Neuron Data Management Organization, we've been spending a lot of time and resource, and we think that's where we can do that partnership with dealerships. And again, get them back to working with customers, yep. selling and servicing cars, and doing it smarter. Yeah, and, and talking about partnership, it's not just partnership, obviously we're partnering with dealers, but one of the other really critical partnerships that we really want to help enable is that partnership with the OEM. So back to the connected car data, that data is coming out off of the car, obviously. That's got to be a really strategic relationship with the OEM to make sure we embed that deeply into, let's say, our service products so that it's part of the flow, so that the OEM is connected to the consumer as the individual dealer. So that connection point of the integration from the OEM all the way through to the dealer is super important. So there's a lot to unpack, actually, in that. Yeah. Number one, that the only way AI is going to work when it comes to services, yep. it has to be integrated with the OEM, the telematics and everything else. Yep, so you're going to have to be that there. The additional thing is that there's some really great applications that can really benefit the customer, yep. that can be served up through the vehicle, um, brought to customers by the OE, but also sold by the dealer. Right. So again, that's a partnership where the, the OE is bringing that information bring it to the customer and that the dealer can package and sell that and then service it. 
again, it's that relationship that really matters. Yep, that's great. And that's something that we're really focused on is trying to drive the connection. You hear us talk a lot about driving connections and that connection and helping you make that connection back to the OEM, through the dealership, to your consumers, connecting the entire automotive industry, something we really want to do as a service to the broader industry. So that's really, I think, the subject of AI. I'm looking forward to doing the next survey, probably in six months from now, seeing right. how that adoption rate is climbing and how it's spreading through other parts of the, the dealership. It's an exciting future, so I'm glad to be part of it. It is, and sort of kind of parting words is it doesn't have to be complicated. It seems like it is one of the most common buzzwords we all hear, we've been hearing it, but it's here, it's in the automotive industry, and you know, with great strategic partnership, you can take advantage of AI, and it's having real impact with our dealerships uh, today, with not just CDK dealers, but with dealers across the automotive industry. So thanks for joining. We're really excited to continue to broadcast live from NADA, as Peter said. It's so uh, great to be with humans and to be so many people here, uh, great attendance at NADA. So stay tuned for more great content coming to you live.